Shoot. Yeah. See, we get an exercise. In this video, I'll explain how to hunt for cross-site scripting in a step-by-step -step manner from a bug bounty perspective. So let's open. So our target today is Udemy. Udemy have a bug bounty program in Hacker One. So before doing your crazy steps, first go through the scope because if you found a bug outside the scope, then all your work, work is worthless. So let's go through the scope. Then let's create a dummy account in Udemy. Then before hunting for bugs, just go through all the functionalities like development, business, what all areas we can inject and access. Before telling about how to hunt, let's see what is an access. An attacker can inject arbitrary code into a website. So let's see. If I type XSS. Yeah, I can see my search right here. So let's inspect the page. So see, it is HTML. Then we can see how it is printed between double quotes inside this h1 tag. So let's close and then type in a script tag. Common form of finding an access. Then type alert 1. See. Let's try something else out. I will just put a u tag and see if it works. So let's inspect the page. See? It is just regarded as a character like uh, we can't inject these tags into the code so our input field properly synthesizes whatever text we put in so how will we get an access when i go through all the functionalities i saw this notes section then i thought what if i inject code into this area so let's fire up burp and proxy and intercept, intercept the traffic okay let's type something first you, you need to use foxy proxy then type what xss save the note and we get the request forward see just type control r it will go to the repeater then just turn off intercept and come to the repeater inside repeater we can play around with this remove this first i will just put a u tag see if it is working send the request yeah it is created Reload the page. See, there is an underline. So, we can inject code. But, can we inject a script tag? Let's check. Send the request. Let's reload the page and look. See, only the alert is showing. Let's inspect. It is HTML. 
See, this area is filtering out the script tag. We only get the alert. So we can't use a script tag. Then what else can we use? Let's look. We can use an A tag. A. Yeah. Something is working. Let's inspect. Now we can see our A tag. So, script tag won't show, but the A tag can be injected. So, let's play around with this. You can also try image tag or something like that. I will do it with you. Image source X. Phone error. We can alert. Then close it and send. It is created, but most probably it won't work. Yeah. See, only the image and SRC are shown. The rest of whatever we sent didn't reach the area. So what can we do? We found that A tag can be injected. So let's play around with A tag. We can add XSS, then add an href. I will use a text editor so that you can see. Can you see now? So we will use href to reference, then Let's see if href is filtered. Because in the previous case that own error was filtered. In this way test everything out to see how the sanitization works for different websites. So, we can see something work, ah, right, our href is shown. So, we can use href for injecting. Then let's again play around with it. Like, what if I add javascript? Alert. This is another way for injecting an alert using javascript. Just like JavaScript, then an alert. Something is shown, let's check. No, only the A tag is shown now. Where does our href go? Let's see. If it uh, if this is a problem with JavaScript. So let's change some things about that. Then again send the request. I'll show it in a big screen. See? Just camel case. So let's check. What? Mm, some problem with our bug. Most probably. Yeah, it's alright. We can use intercept the tra traffic again. 
it was a network issue so just send the message like i just camel case the javascript then let's see how it works inspect nothing see we only get the a tag and the xss so then i thought what the problem might be then i removed this and just type in the words and send let's reload the page then we can get something that can be clicked see it is shown here so let's inspect and see see our javascript was in sanitize our alert was in sanitize but what was this thing this thing so is there any work around let's check at least we get something that can be clicked so let's put some yeah google.com and sent yeah it is created uh, refresh let's see if google.com comes here see slash google.com it showed for a split second then let's inspect see our google.com was in sanitize so i i am showing this step by step because you should know how hard is to hunt it manually this is the work it takes to hunt for an xss manually because most tools won't work smoothly and find the bugs so we must do it manually by trying all the tags maybe how in the in this way we can find how this sanitization works so i found a workaround i used target then alert then pointed it to an another web address i will give the payload this was the payload i used so i used the href to point to this address and a target to alert at that point then sent let's see if it works probably should see we get an xss where is it yeah so for cross site scripting hunting you can use a cheat sheet provided by portugal just search for xss cheat sheet and it's in the portugal website So I have found this bug and reported it today and I will show you some other points you can check for cross site scripting like come to the announcement section then see this section enter the comment you can see all the comments you can type something like uh, what should i type xss then send it see it is saved so let's try it with an a tag let's check if it works so it doesn't so just inspect the page show comments inspect and go to the section and check how it is shown see we can't input it directly 
so what can you do you can intercept the traffic then you can try different tags different ways different works workarounds and try to found a cross site scripting so before hunting for a cross site scripting look for how it works don't just put in some random payloads and uh, just leave it and do not rely on some random tools like uh, what xss strike or something like that most of the case the tools miss out on many areas but we can test it manually and find so you can try different ways and there's also a section reviews even you can test it on this search review section then at the end of the course you will get a feedback section that's where you can write a review you can intercept that traffic and send it and repeat this uh, with many other tags and many other workarounds and you will get an access most probably or may not so this is how you hunt for that i write blogs on medium this is my channel and you can find all the links here this is my medium page i write blogs on uh, many topics like uh, jwt attacks sql injections uh, business logic vulnerabilities and many other things like you can read this read this out and try it on yourself you can use port sugar labs for testing it out and then try it on some random websites go to a hacker one or bug crowd or some platform and then choose a target and learn how your target works before hunting for bugs you should know how your target target works so go through all the functionalities create a like dummy account <laughs> like i have already tested many of these things like still testing then uh, try to inject in different areas choose one bug type learn everything about it and test it till you get a bug then move on to the next uh, type of vulnerability so you can uh, read my blog post my blog i will every link is in my youtube and this is my linkedin page and this is my twitter page you can follow me if you like so that's it go hunt for bugs